uh, Swan Puncher here, playing Card Hunter. So, I haven't yet gone back and recorded the episode of the Temple of Scales, but I'm going to leap in and do Tree Forts of the Goblin King, which is an adventure I haven't played, but it's the only level 12 adventure left, really, other than Temple of Scales. So, um, yeah, I, it's going to be a bit tough for me to get grind XP against these guys. So I'm going to search the forest for the Goblin Fanatic Kazak and his remaining forces. Oh, is that the... Is that the Goblin Fort? That looks pretty well built. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, hey guys, take a look at this. Well, okay, he's talking about snacks. Right, let's crack in. Alright, well, okay, so we're on the start of their tree forts. Ah, the goblins are a bit bit nasty. These uh, They have a lot of blocks. These guys are uh, they're pretty tough. They hit very hard. And these things will be running around and well it's called pew pew so i think that gives you a hint as to what its likely usage is um so let's start off by burning everyone <laughs> okay that guy blocks it that guy blocks it someone else doesn't okay right okay so there's a few uh, missile blocks going on right then we want to give inspiration to the wizard because he's more likely to get useful cards. Okay, he got resistant hide, so I don't think I think they do only electrical attacks, so we're not going to be too worried about that then. Well, as long as they target the wizard. I mean, if they target anyone else, they're taking damage like anyone else. Okay, so let's move up here into the combat. Right. Okay, and then I'm going to use jump back to move up here. Okay, then I'm going to get shot. But we managed to chop a couple of them. Okay, god damn it, that's quite a painful hit. So let's heal you. Okay, she's still taking damage. And then, well, the, oh, the Goblin Shredder's got no cards left, so I can put this wherever I want. So he's going to be on 8 damage after that. Do I want to kill one of them straight away? They've got a card draw of 3. He is going to be on... Well, so he'll take two damage, so he'll be on eight as well, and he'll be on 19. I prefer to get rid of one of them. So I'm going to get rid of the one in the middle, split their group, and then let's pass. Okay, so everyone's going to take a bit of damage, or some of them will. Luckily I won't. Okay, so one of them down, and there are only a few more left to go. I'm taking a lot more damage in these adventures now. Funnily enough, because they're more difficult. <laughs> uh, so, well done. Deduction there. Okay. Another one dead. Ow. Being shot again. Right. Then we want to shoot you. In fact, you're probably more dangerous, but never mind. Right. They've fled. I'm now going to move away because they've got ranged attacks. All these guys have. Okay. And I want my wizard to be in range of all their attacks rather than... Okay, damn it, I don't quite want him to be following me. So let's acid burn him. He's passing, I'll pass. Because the wizard can't really take damage from them, so getting this guy killed will mean that technically I can't lose. So, obvious manoeuvre. Then we will shoot this guy with a deadly spark. Annoyingly, he's blocked it. They've got a lot of anti-projectile stuff. More than I'd uh, anticipated. Okay, so we draw a card. So we've been shot. We're still alive. That's fine. Move up here. He's passing, so we'll stab him in the back. He hasn't yet moved, which is kind of uh, worrying. Okay, he has now. Then boiling armor, just to see if it uses anything. Life-saving block, and we draw a card. Okay, so let's use that to stab him. Okay, he's now dead. And let's move our wizard around here. They're passing, I'll pass, he's dead. And we've just got three sparklers left. With one missile block in their hand, but they're drawing three. But the wizard, it won't take damage from them. Okay, so let us shoot you. Okay, we could do with them not having missile block in their hands, but never mind. Oh, please work. Okay, the warrior's dead, as we suspected, so winds of war. Okay, I could kind of done with that one being the one that you blocked. You've passed, I'm going to move to here, and then pass. 
Okay. Prompting them to move, so that's handy. So I get the attack, first attack. I should be able to mop these guys up fairly easily. Annoying that they've still got that missile block, so let's just try and get rid of that. Oh, okay. They, oh, I guess he couldn't block because he wasn't looking at me. And there's not really anything I can do. There's still not anything I can do. You can't hurt me. Resistant hide is amazing. <laughs> And very infuriating when I'm fighting against it, because then you realise just how many element-related damage you do. So, spark generator. Um, move here. Okay, thanks for shooting me, and now I'm going to escaping run so that I draw a card, hoping it's something good. Okay, then boil your armour, even though you don't have any, just to hopefully get rid of the missile block. Yes, it does. Okay, they've moved. They haven't got anything that they can do about this, so get rid of him. Okay, so down to one. He's on two health. He can't hurt me. So I think we can see how this fight's going to go. Annoyingly, because I haven't drawn any... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, any sort of attacks. Um, just give it up. Just give it up. Just This isn't going to go well for you. Annoyingly, I need to probably draw two because no doubt their block will uh, will work. Luckily, I have drawn two. Okay, hopefully he's moved nearer me. Right, come on. Okay, well we got through that. Annoying more than anything else. He's got rye bread crackers. Um, okay, good to know. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That's quite good. If I had my impaling thing going on, but I currently don't. Sodas are gone. Okay. Right, he's drinking mineral water, so I think I think basically Karen's been buying oh god, what are you? Whenever you take damage, you discard your oldest magic card. Okay, but that's fine. It only stands there for two turns. He in an inspiring presence, so we all draw another card. Okay, so we've got two goblin hulks, goblin berserker, and goblin shredders. Wow, this is gonna be a bit of a bit of a tough fight. These guys hit very hard, as do these guys. So I am going to aim for this guy first. Oh, he's carrying two Raging Strikes. So we want to hit him before he gets to use those. Wow. Well, he's nearly out of it. <laughs> uh, that went fairly well. And we're really saying farewell to that guy. Um, Hmm, I don't want you to be too close to them. I'd like want him to try and close distance and then me to be able to mash him up. And I want you to be able to go here. Okay, you get out of that range. Ta-da. Okay, and then we chop him and he's probably going to go down. Okay, well that was a good start. Um, to be honest, aided very much by the fact he had two raging strikes in his hand. It's nice to be getting the benefit of that rather than just the penalty on occasion. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess we're passing. And I'll get rid of life-saving block because it's a little early in the combat to be thinking about dying. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know that I'm... Okay, well, I've just drawn Raging Strike, so let's use it on this guy. Okay, and then we run away to here. Okay, Shredding Strike. I think that destroys armor. Okay, right, then annoyingly you can't get out of there, and annoyingly you can't get into there. So, um, hmm, well that's a bit awkward. Well, let's move you here. Okay, shuffle team, and get you round here. You are one further along. Don't really want the wizard to be bringing up the, the rear, but unfortunately I haven't really got much choice. Okay, they've done that. The shredders have got... Okay, those guys, they need to be wavering faithed, really. Because I don't want them coming in with whatever the hell that, that is. 11 damage. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, we'll pass. They've passed as well, so discard these. Okay. Now I've... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say about something that I've uh, just bought, um, which is something I'm really looking forward to, and that is uh, I've just bought a development kit for the Oculus Rift. Um, 
not because I'm intending on making any games, but just because when I, when I was a kid, you know, virtual reality was it was you'd see it on a few films and enacted really badly, and it just it, you know it really captured the imagination or well, my imagination at the very least as a child, and you know I always wanted a virtual reality headset, and so. I uh, thought, sod it, <laughs> I might as well buy one. Um, even though it's only the developing kit, because I wanted to see what it would be like, and you know, I could buy it again. Okay, that was going to heal him. Um, I can buy, you know, the, the released version when it comes out. Now let's do that on you. Okay, you're passing. Um, let's pass again. Okay, so they're going to have to come through me or split their party. Discard that. And you. I should really got rid of the boiling armor, but never mind. Okay, so they're taking a bit of damage. We should be able to get through this. Right. They don't have any armor, but let's just make sure. Okay, they did have armor. Oh no, they had a block card. That's fine. Then we're going to stab. Um, well, I kind of want to lead them into the combat. So let's go here and then move our wizard out of the way because he's currently within two squares of them. Right, what? Okay, they've just moved into that. Um, I was hoping they'd come forward, but they haven't yet. Maybe they don't have another move card, but I can stab him from where I'm at. Okay, he's passed. Um, hmm. Okay, well they should come forward next turn. So I'm going to pass, okay. yeah. Okay. Right, get rid of you, get rid of you, and you. Okay. So I don't want a bungled heal because it'll heal the nearest opponent as well. Ah, okay, so they've moved into the place that, uh, that, that I wanted them to be, so penetrating attacks. Annoyingly, I don't have any, but I do have this chop, and strong chop, so it adds two damage to the attacks. And then let's strong chop him again. So he should be pretty much out of it. And then let's get the last one in. Okay, so it's just two goblin hulks that we're facing off against. So now I should be able, because they're close range, um, do I, what have I got? I could bungled heal him and it's gonna heal the nearest enemy, but I can do, then I can do firestorm without dying. Um, hmm, I don't know. It doesn't sound great. Let's not do that. Let's move you away. Okay, and then move you away. And maybe... No, I don't... Well, I might as well. Demonic feedback on him. He's getting two more cards. Annoyingly, he's out of range of everything. Um, yeah, I'm going to bungled heal on him. Okay, so he's healed five, but so is their nearest the nearest enemy. Even though I'm out of range, I'm now going to firestorm. Just because of the damage that I can do to them is... Uh, I don't intend to be in range of them at any point. And that's two of them, you know, a little closer to death. Let's pass. Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that, and unlikely to need that. I should really got rid of Ember Spray, perhaps, because... Okay. So, one on two health, one on fourteen. Okay, they're chasing the warrior around. He's going to now dance a merry dance. He's going to move up here. Can I... Well, I can pass the knives one of them, so that's him pretty much dead. And I can't move him any further. So I'm just going to jolt her in front so that they can't just rush up. But they shouldn't be able to anyway. Get rid of that, and Ember Spray, and Unreliable Block, and jump back. Because that will let me jump forward three, so I should be able to finish off one of them. Okay, he's dead. And he's a little bit closer. Okay, <laughs> I'm just picking up traits here. Okay, so move him up here. He's passing, Path of Knives on you. Then Short Spark. Then powerful spark. Then hot spot. Then he's dead. Okay, let's pass. Right, discard anything. Doesn't matter. Good. Yep. 
done. Right, okay. So we got through this fight. Um, did fairly well, I think. Um, we weren't really under threat during that. I think the fact that we killed the Barbarian very quickly was, uh, was very good. So that really did help. Okay, that's quite good. That's also interesting. And, okay, that I've already got. So, okay, so I could really have more. Okay. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to comment on their dietary requirements. Right, so who's this? Kazak, the Goblin Shaman. And then we have Gu Guzrak, the Goblin King. And then two Goblin Shredders. Now, Goblin King, he doesn't look very much like Bowie to me, so I think he's an imposter. Um, I can't see over that. Yes, yeah, so that blocks sight. Okay, well, let's see what they do. Let's leave it with them. Blind Rage. Okay, I think that has a negative effect. Start of each round, take three di uh, psychic damage for each attack card in your hand. And it cannot be prevented by armor. Right, so let's... Path of Knives on that guy. Okay, they frenzied the other one. Let's shoot this guy. Quite like one of them down at the very least. Then... What do we want to do? Well, we don't want to go too close to him. So let's pass. Okay, well he's nearly dead then. And let us stab him. Okay, he's got Unholy Frenzy, so we're going to take a fair amount of damage. Then jump you up here. Then let's Weak Chop first. Okay, and then let's Strong Chop to get rid of him. Okay, God, I Shuffle Team. Ah, ha ha, handy. Okay, so now he's going to be trapped with whatever attack cards he had in his hand prior to this round. Move the wizard back here. God, that might be a temporary solution, but... Uh, I don't want him to discard a card, in fact, because that might... Um, that might reduce the amount of damage that he'll take at the start of the turn. Oh, my God. Well, that's nine damage to him instantly. Okay, but he's got healed. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Right. So, how do we want to do this? Well, we want to get rid of the Shaman, because he is beefing him up somewhat. But how to break someone through? So I can get my Priest round here, but I need to wait and see where he moves to. Because if he um, moves to threaten my Priest, either way, if he moves here, then I can go around this side. If he moves there, then I can go around this side. But he's more likely to go there or there, realistically. So, let's see what he does. And... Pass. Okay. Well, he's taken four damage, and well, I am now trapped. He's only got one card, so I can probably just survive that. But I do need to take him out realistically. Okay. Right, he's gone there. So the warrior is now going to hit him. Okay, that's ten damage to him. He's now moved him round, so I'm going to move him round. And then we are going to... I don't know if he's got any movement cards. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, we're going to Unholy Frenzy this guy, just get rid of him. Okay, he's passing. That's fine. I'm going to hotspot him. He's passing again. I should be able to just kill him then. I think he might already be dead. Or very close to it, at the very least. Yeah, so he's on three health. They've used inspiration on him. But, I'm going to shoot him again. So I just need one more damage. He's now moved into close combat with me. And that's him gone. Okay, so it's only the priest left. Should be able to take them out fairly simply. Okay, so let's walk the team. Get you round here, and you just a little bit closer. Then help the weak to heal the weakest member of my team. Uh, might as well shuffle the team just to get them a little bit closer. Okay, and well, you don't have any attacks, so there's no point in me moving you into combat. Okay, then let's pass. Get rid of you. Okay, so we should be able to 
pretty much force him into a corner and shoot him. Okay, powerful spark. He's turned around. Right, go here. And stab him very hard. Okay, he's minorly healing. So let's jump up here. Okay, he's trying to stab me. One bit of my armor works, but he's about to get hurt fairly a fairly good amount. In fact, I'd have, have done more damage if I did it the other way around, actually. And then let's stone spark. spikes him. Hopefully he can't move. No, he can't. Pass. Done. Okay, well that was fairly simple. Um, it worked very well that I managed to split them successfully. So they were trying to fight me around corners and um, I was able to get the break the line of sight between the the fighter, uh, sorry, the king and his medic, which by bringing him on to me. Okay, wow, are those interesting? All right, oh, that looks interesting. Oh, it's just something to sell. And quick run, cantrip. Okay, so that doesn't cost your action. So that's interesting. And a spiked mail, what are you again? Armor 2, if this armor prevents damage from melee attack, the attacker takes two damage. Okay, I have seen that before in, I think I've got something that does one of them. But that having two, that's quite good. Um, but I do love horned plates and the shimmering aura as well, and armor too that I keep. So I'm probably not going to equip those. But yeah, that's the tree forts of the Goblin King. Um, so we managed to fight our way through there. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you like more. And next up, I probably will be in the Temple of the Scales, or I might go on and do a level 13 adventure instead. Um, thanks very much. Uh, let me know if you want me to go back and play the Temple of the Scales. In fact, because I think I might... Um, play it off camera or something like that. So uh, thanks very much and cheers. Bye.